name, I'm the Quinn Hill. They call me BU. They call me the Predator. Just don't call me broke. Nah, man, I'm the Quinn Hill. They call me Young and BU. Represent Austin, Texas. Dead game boxing. How long have you been boxing? All my life I had to fight. Nah, uh, I've been, I've been, I, 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 I've been fighting for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Like in the streets or whatever. And then I turned to boxing. Uh, to get me out of the streets and it kind of been helping me with like discipline and just keep me from getting in trouble because I'm always at the gym when I'm when I'm working out and stuff so I probably I've probably been I've been fighting since I was a little kid but like competing and actively like competing of for some L's and some dubs on record like two or three years I got like 15 amateur fights but I got into a bad motorcycle accident like last year, I broke my leg in like three different places. So uh, I had to chill for a little bit. So I say good two years, two for sure years, I've been competing. How you feeling about this upcoming fight? Man, this fight is bigger than me, bro. Uh, I'm normally a welcher, like I fight at like 140 or something like that. But uh, since COVID hit, I gained a couple pounds. I did Golden Gloves and went to the state at 175. So uh, that's kind of where my weight is now. When they hit me with the opportunity to uh, do the tournament, so uh, I'm doing 175, and I'm gonna drop back down to like 50, 47 soon. But it's just I, I, my whole life. I wanted to uh, potentially go pro and see what I could do on a, on that stage, on that level, and uh, and see what I can just potentially do. And as me being an older fighter and getting older, I didn't want to procrastinate no more. And I just jumped out there, man, and see what I can do and how much, how much ruckus I can raise. And see what I can do. Uh, and then my little brother, he was killed recently. So uh, he always told me to go, go for my dreams and go for what I want to do. And that's what I'm gonna do it for. As long as my little brother, man. Long live T. Reed, long live Lil A. It's my little brother, he just died recently, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I dedicate this fight to him, to no procrastinating and just getting the job done and just being being you and doing things you want to get accomplished before you, you know what I'm saying? Don't be scared to do stuff that you want to do because then you'll never get it done if you keep hesitating or thinking about how you're going to fail. So, I'm not even, I'm not saying who don't want to win, but this is just more for a more, it's a moral thing for me. It's something I always wanted to do. My little brother told me to go do it, so I'm gonna go do it, man. It win, lose, or draw. And then my son got autism, so I think all my fights, I'm gonna just dedicate to uh, autism awareness. You know what I'm saying? I have a five-year-old son, and he, he autistic, so I feel like, you know what I'm saying, fighting and representing my son and my family, win, lose, or draw, just, you know what I'm saying, putting on a good, good, uh, good show, good sportsmanship. And uh, just seeing what I can do in that ring, man, by any means, any way. What's your motivation? My son, my son, my son, my son. I love my son, my kids, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's just basically it, man. My, I, been, I come from the struggle, so it's nothing uh, to not have nothing or like I don't care to be rich or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? Who don't want a lot of money, but as so far as this, I want to show my son you can do whatever you want to do, son. Don't let nobody, uh, you know what I'm saying, limit you to what you can and can't do. And uh, that's basically, I want to show my son. He don't talk, so I want to show my son, like, hey, you can, you want to rap, you want to sing, you want to box, or anything, you want to be a doctor, anything you want to do is possible as long as you put some hard work into it. So my dedication and the reason I box is for my son and for my fam, just to show him, like, hey, you can do whatever it is you put your mind to, you just gotta focus. What do your family think about you as a professional boxer? They don't really want me to box. They don't like me, like like seeing me potentially get hurt. And uh, it's not like I can't defend myself or hold my own weight. I just, I think they, they used to seeing me do music. I'm a musician first, so they used to be seeing me on a different type of stage and a different type of uh, form of entertainment. So uh, to see me in a ring where I could potentially be harmed or get hurt or whatever it is, I don't think nobody wanna uh, see their family, loved ones like that in that manner. But they probably gonna they gonna enjoy it. A lot of people uh, probably gonna pop out. Uh, I've been talking about this for a long time. You know what I'm saying? So 
hopefully I get a lot of support uh, with my family, friends, and uh, peers around the city. And uh, that's it. I think I think they just more used to me doing music and uh, promoting clothes other than boxing, so they don't see me. You know what I'm saying holding my own in, in a pair of gloves, but we're gonna see what he do. What is boxing for you? Boxing for me is an outlet. Boxing to me is like uh, the hyperbolic time chamber. If you watch Dragon Ball Z, you know what that means. Fighting boxing to me means peace, bro. Like, like. A person that know you can box don't go around just picking on people, you know what I'm saying? A person that box, you know what I'm saying, they got discipline. They got a, a certain type of swagger, you know what I'm saying? So, to really just overall answer it, boxing saved my life, bro. If it wasn't for boxing, I'd probably be dead in the streets, in jail, uh, just terrible person, you know what I'm saying? Boxing helped me... Uh, get those emotions and feelings that I have and I can, you know what I'm saying, kind of throw them towards something instead of throwing my life away. I can go to the ring, and I think that's for everybody that fight. You can go to the ring with a mutual opponent that's willing to do some punching and y'all punch on each other. Somebody judge it, there's a winner, there's a loser. You go back to the gym, you get your shit together, man. Like I say, uh, my brother was killed while I was in the boxing gym. You know what I'm saying, on the streets, long live T. Reed. But uh, if I if it wasn't for boxing, I'd probably been with him. So boxing saved my life, honestly. If I if I wasn't in the gym, I'd probably be somewhere not not here talking about fighting. So boxing is a is a savior for me. Boxing is a life. It's nothing. It's not a game or something that you can play. You can't play boxing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta live it. And boxing is a lifestyle. There you go. Boxing is a lifestyle. <laughs> when did you begin boxing? Uh, amateurly two, three years ago, but I, I, I always, ever since I was in the third grade, probably in the first grade with my cousin Joffrey, uh, we always used to get in the gloves. He used to give me these big ass gloves, though. I don't know why he used to give me these big gloves. And he used to get the little purple ones. And uh, we used to we used to box. We used to just chunk, 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 chunk. So I was never scared to get in the gloves. And I, I come from a, a background, of, I used to get jumped on a lot by a lot of people. So boxing is a, a mono, it's one person. It's easy to focus on one person. But when I, I come from a, a place where I'm getting jumped by multiple people. So boxing was a, a controlled environment to where I knew I wouldn't have to worry about like stuff getting out of hand. And that's fair to me. What does your family, do you have like any uh, responsibilities besides like boxing? Do you have family? Do you have a uh, uh, son? How do you say you have your son? How do you think like they feel about you getting into the ring? Uh, my son, my son, he, 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 he autistic. So I really can't tell you how he feel, but if I'm losing, I know he probably gonna try to like get in the ring. Like there been times uh, I'm sparring and he think I'm losing or something, he'll put his gloves on and get in the ring. So I'll say, he don't like to see his daddy losing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and then I ain't got no mom. My mama got killed by APD when I was like 14, 15. So like, you know what I'm saying? My little brothers and sisters, they probably, you know what I'm saying? My older sister Latrice and stuff like that. And my uncles would probably be happy and excited. My grandpa and all my friends from like elementary and stuff like that, that I don't necessarily talk to every day, but I know once they see me making this uh, step towards a, a professional fighting career, uh, they gonna support it, win, lose, or draw. And that's what I'm here for, to put on a good show, show people you can do what you want to, bring more uh, awareness to autism. And just overall, just live a happy life. And boxing makes me happy, so I'm going to box. Mm. What are you doing for preparing for this fight? Cardio, 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 cardio. You can have the best car in the world, but you can't drive fast if you ain't got no gas, you hear me? You know what I'm saying? So it's all about cardio, 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 and just being mentally ready to be uh, put in front of those stages on that level, in front of those type of people with that type of um, talent of an opponent. You know what I'm saying? Just at the end of the day, the only thing I can say is cardio, bro. You know what I'm saying? And no matter how much talent you got, no matter how good you may think you are, if you don't have no no fuel in your tank to do what you need to do, you're not gonna be able to defend yourself and you're not gonna be able to get the job done and you're not gonna be able to put on a good show. So, cardio, 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 cardio. That's all I've been worried about, focus on cardio. My, uh, I'm already fighting a bigger weight class and I normally fight, so weight ain't an issue to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm already 
bigger than what I normally am. So it's nothing for me to get back to my normal size to even do this at 175. So cardio, that's the most important thing with boxing to me is cardio, man. You can be the most skills. You can have, you can be Floyd Mayweather Jr. But if you ain't got no cardio, you ain't gonna be nothing but Adrian Broner. <laughs> Who's your uh, inspiration as a boxer? Who do you see like a role model um, that you are trying to be in boxing? I can't be them because I'm me. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I can tell you who like who styles I like, but I don't want to be like like no. I can't be. I can't be better than them. I only can be. I can take what they do and try to use it, but I can't be them. I like people like Pernell, uh, Dimitri Parag, uh, Josh Kelly, Emmanuel Augusta, Curtis Colvin, uh, Travell, Long Live Travell, Maison, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Darius Whitstone from Dallas. I, I like fighters that people really don't don't necessarily know of. I like Terrence Crawford, the, uh, the Tanks, you know what I'm saying? Sean Brewer, shout out to my little brother Spooty, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Elgin Chandler, it's like, I like people that I personally connect with and grew with and uh, I took losses with, so I don't mind winning with them, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I got favorite fighters and stuff like that, but I just want to be the best fighter I can be. I don't want to be better than nobody other than better than I was last year. I don't care how good Terrence Crawford is or Floyd is. They already did that. I'm trying to make a name and a stamp on the game for me. So you know, for this tournament, there'll be like a w WBC bell. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take it home or? <laughs> Goddamn right, I want to take it home. I'm definitely. I, I don't. I ho hopefully, in, in, in the higher power, let me make it past the first round, so I can make it to the second round, so I can go ahead and do what I need to do to bring the bell home. But I just appreciate the opportunity to be able to go pro debut in my home city. Got a good opponent. I'm already ranked up. I mean, matched up. You know what I'm saying? Every, I'm gonna just put that in, you know what I'm saying? God's hand, you know what I'm saying? If, if I'm supposed to bring that bitch home, I'm gonna bring it home. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just work hard, work hard, work hard, put on the best show I can do, and hopefully my opponent got some cracks in his defense and I, and I, and I, and I get the dub. Other than that, I ain't tripping. Um, any words to your opponent? Hope you've been training. <laughs> Hope you've been training. Oh, uh, that's that's about it. that's basically it, bro. Cause I hope you've been training so I, so we can put on a good show, bro. Like that's it. You punch me, I'ma punch you, and let the let, let the judges decide if the, if it, if we make it there. Other than that, man, hope you've been training, Marcus. So what do you do besides boxing? What is something that you like doing, or what's your another passion? Oh man, I'm uh, I'm a musician. Uh, uh, an audio engineer, a producer. I'm one fourth of Austin Team Neck Music Group Team Next. I'm also a part of Hood Swag Music Group. And uh, man, we just make a lot of hits. When I ain't banging shit up in the gym, I'm making bangers in the studio. Uh, when I'm not in the gym or in the studio, I'm breeding bullies. I breed uh, my own line of bullies, BU bullies. I got Frenchies, fluffy Frenchies, and micro American bullies. I got a, I love breeding dogs. I love dogs. So we're fighting in the gym. I'm writing some raps or cleaning up dog crap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what I love doing. When I ain't busy being a daddy on daddy duties or in the gym getting yelled at by Coach Rico because I don't know how to keep my shit together. I'm, I'm in the studio, man. I'm young and BU. I'm young and so, BU. So what's your song for I Treat to the Ring? Do you have like your own song or? And that's been my dilemma. I didn't know if I want to come out to my one of my songs or, or, or a song that I like. But I ain't gonna lie. I've been thinking about like some some poo shiesty back in blood with, you know what I'm saying? Or some or something with the little baby, but I ain't gonna lie. Austin, my city Austin got so much music that I, uh, I'm probably gonna come out to some Austin music. Uh, if my brother Issa don't make me a song or I don't pick one of my brothers like Domino's or Slingshot songs, I got, there's a lot of artists I got to uh, choose from around here. And since we're doing it in Austin, and I'm an Austin boxer, professional boxer, I'm probably gonna come out to some Austin artists. And that's about it. If I, if I can think of a song that make me hype, that's one of my personal songs, I definitely come. I got a song called Molly Wop. 
it is so fucking crunk. It is so crunk. You know what I'm saying? It's not released yet, so I'm probably not gonna come out to it yet. But if one of my brothers don't make me an intro song or you know, a little ring song, I'm probably gonna play one of their songs to give me hype. Give me hype, hype. I ain't gonna play it for y'all right now. You know what I'm saying? I wait till y'all to show it to the fight come, y'all see it then. But it's definitely a lot of music that uh I got to choose from. So it's just whenever that day come, I'm gonna make my mind up and, and choose a song we got in the archive. Shout out to the whole squad. The upcoming song that you that's not coming yet. Would you give it like a Another sneak? Quick, yeah, yeah. Sneak, sneak. I, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, sure. for sure, sure. Uh. And that's crazy too, cause uh, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. So, uh, like I said, I record all my music, man, and I just gotta see what stuff is gonna get released first. It's our turn, I think so. Please keep connection is successful. Being public, skipped out on college, chose not to study, and who did like fuck it? Yeah, man, that's that's called Molly Rock. You know what I'm saying? When we and my young, my young and uh, Jet Black, we ain't put it out yet, but it it it, it, it got that feeling. It got that feeling when you hear it. You know what I'm saying? Talk my shit, pop out on any block Don't gotta let me get money, why? No, you got blood, little bitty boy You know it's gon' sight when we see a ops I pull up on bike, I don't need a car Don't shout at some boy, I'm a ghetto star I used to be broke, now I got plenty quiet They won't go with the kids, so we had it now Talk my shit, pop out on any block Don't gotta let me get money, why? No, you not bad, little bitty boy You know it's gon' sight when we see the ops I pull up on bike, I don't need a car Don't shout at some boy, I'm a ghetto star I used to be broke, now I got plenty quiet They won't go with the kids, so we had it now yeah. See me in person, you blow up your weapon Long as we learn my lesson Fuck it, I'm flexing, hope you get the message Fuck all that drop shit, I'm talking to text Just like in the club, let them slump in the sex Big one and no ass, all these are BBS I know we said snippy, but I have to play that whole jam Because it make me feel some type of way So any words to your fans? Man, win, lose, or draw Come see me swing them things. Austin, Texas, I'm coming to represent. I'm coming in the perp. I'm coming in the Turk. I'm finna show y'all what I'm worth. You know what I'm saying? Win, lose, or draw. We gon' we gon' you know what I'm saying? We gon' bring the city out. And this is what it's about. This is the first fight. We finna see if y'all fuck with me. And I'm out this bitch. I appreciate you for having me. You know what I'm saying? Express myself. And uh Austin Texas just pop out, man. I hope to, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully everybody come out and enjoy themselves and see me do my thing. Get this duh.